Hey guys, it is Friday, August 23rd, and today what I thought I would do is talk a little bit about internet crushes. Yeah, I'm talking like people on YouTube or on Twitter or on some other form of social media. To be honest, I mean, I don't think that internet crushes are bad as long as they're lighthearted and not taken seriously. Because if they're serious and you're like hardcore crushing on this person and you're like, oh my gosh, this person is amazing, why don't they notice me? Um, it's probably because they're like sort of a little bit famous and it's like kind of having a huge crush on someone like Zachary Quinto or Taylor Lautner and being like, why won't you talk to me? Probably because they have like a million other people saying the exact same thing. And so if you're too like, oh my gosh, I mean, it could be dangerous just because you might end up getting a little bit heartbroken. But that brings me to my story about my internet crush and, um, or at least one of them. I should say one of my internet crushes because lately I've been kind of crushing on Joey Graceffa, but that's a whole nother thing and we're not going to get into that. Like my first real internet crush that I was just like, oh my gosh, this person is totally cute and really funny and really, really, really awesome or he seems like he's awesome because of course he's a YouTuber and so I don't actually know him in real life. It was Johnny Pixel 7. I had a huge crush on him, like a huge crush on him. And I messaged him, I think on Facebook or maybe it was on YouTube. I don't really remember, but the point is he answered. And so I was like, oh my gosh, Johnny Pixel 7 has just messaged me. And like that must mean he thinks I'm interesting. And so I kind of went a little bit crazy. I think I scared him away, maybe a little bit because I, like we at, like we're gonna Skype and then I kind of was like, oh my gosh, talk, 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 talk. And yeah, so anyway, so okay, here's the, another thing about internet crushes. So if you do actually contact them and they reply, just don't go crazy. They are just people. And so treat them like a person and treat them how you would want to be treated. Like, do you want somebody constantly messaging you like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love your stuff. Oh my gosh, blah, 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 oh my, blah, blah. no. I mean, I don't think you would. Maybe you would. But I met another YouTuber through Johnny. We kind of ended up moving in together. And long story made really, really, really short. Uh, I moved to Michigan for him and it didn't work out. And that's okay, because my life is really amazing right now. And so I'm really thankful for that because otherwise I wouldn't be where I am. But I think it's because he wasn't a famous YouTuber that's kind of why it happened the way it did. So if you're gonna have an internet crush, make sure they're a famous person. That's that, that's just my thoughts on some things and just throwing them out there. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe at the end of the video or you can click the subscribe button down below. Uh, if, I think that's it, is that it for today? I think that's it. Okay guys, you will see me next week for another video on Friday. Until then, stay amazing, stay kind, and I will see you guys later. My dearest Joey, you are so incredibly cute. My heart went out to you in your Draw My Life video. I became a subscriber after I heard your cover of Anna's Son. I'm a sucker for musicians. If you ever want to talk, this might sound odd, and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me maybe. <laughs> Never said don't try.